So, Fred, this is what you found in Otto's bag when he came back last night? Yeah, these are Otto's belongings. He had a duffel bag and that in his book bag, and um, there was a pouch here that some things were in. He's got his UVA notebook. Yeah, his passport. This was his calculator. He was going to be doing a finance class there. And as his um, crazy shirts and ties, uh, looks like he was packing for a three-month trip, but... <laughs> So he was in China and he just took a couple day job. Yeah, he took a Korea. tour with young people, young pioneers tour with a group of young people. He was over there with them and uh, these are the clothes that he took. They were packed up. They, they were musty when we took them out. Obviously, they've been in the bag for a long time. And this, this would be typical of Otto, though. He'd have a lot of cool stuff to wear and... Um, you know, some neat shoes, and of course he had running shoes. He loved to run. He was he's in excellent shape. Um, yeah, this is his wallet, and I guess he had some money that he had there, and uh, that's what he was. Uh, that's what they sent him home with. Ah, looks like a straight arrow kid from this. It's pretty pretty straightforward, you know. This was Otto. Most of this stuff would have been bought at a thrift store. He loved that. And he's got a taste for zany shirts, I know. He does, and. Uh, and he looked good in them. So, You going over to see him? I am, yeah. As soon as we're finished, I'm going to go um, see him and Cindy, and uh, we're going to hang out and uh, going to read to him and uh, talk to him and, you know, make him feel at home. Let him know that uh, he's around people that love him. That's the most important thing we can do for Otto right now. Well, God bless you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank for you. letting us in. You're very welcome, Tucker, and thank you. You've been a huge support uh, for us and, and Otto, and, and we can't thank you enough. Ah, we feel for you. Yeah, thanks.